hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me again and yes i'm switching up looks on you guys you know i have to because i love my wig so i have a surprise for you all today i'm gonna do a wig review on two recent wigs that i purchased and i'm gonna show you guys pretty much how i style it to make it look like my own um, I might even incorporate that big fluffy wig that I wear all the time in my previous videos um, to show you guys how I kind of uh, take my hair and uh, mesh it into that. So you know what? Enough with the chat and let's get right into it, okay? The wig that I'm wearing today is called The Big Beautiful Hair by Lace uh, Front. This is Outre, okay? Um, now this comes in four different styles. I believe it comes in 4A, 4C, and 4B. I purchased 4A, which is the kinky, um, so that it can match more of my hair texture in case I did want to leave it out. Um, the only thing is I did not get my normal color, which is 1B, to take my hair out and blend it. I actually got four. So this is more on a more brown side. Right. So the curls um, are pretty much all around. There's no straight pieces. Um, there's barely a part. I believe it's like a half an inch of parting space. I don't know if you guys could see it there, but it's about, I want to say like a half inch parting space. You can put some concealer on if you want to blend it, but I didn't feel the need to do that. The hair is very warm. It's very soft. It doesn't tangle. I mean, with all these curls, you would think it tangled, right? But it doesn't. Um, but you see what I mean by it doesn't tangle? Like, it's just... It's so beautiful and you want it to be believable. So it's okay if some of them kind of get like little baby froze um, because the more realistic it is, you know what I mean? Um, does it shed? I want to say no for now because the little shedding that's happening is because I'm really, really um, tugging and pulling at it. It did not come like this. It pretty much came... Um, Let's see if you could see some of the curl patterns in the back. All the curls pretty much came like that. Can you see those in the back? And pretty much I don't use combs or brushes on, well, on this particular wig. So I pretty much just use my fingers and I'm not done actually. I mean, I have a lot more teasing to do with the wig. Can you see that back there? I might even cut it. I don't think I want it this long, especially in the back. So I'm going to turn around so you guys can see. See, so I don't think I want this piece on there. So I'm going to cut that. And I guess I'll cut that while I'm on with you guys. So you guys can see how I play with my wigs, right? All right. So this little piece back here, I'm going to let it go. And I really shouldn't be using these scissors. These are my lash scissors, but... I don't feel like getting up to look for a pair of scissors. I just don't like when the hair hangs like right there, if that makes sense, like right on the backbone of my neck. Like, I don't like that. Um, so I'm pretty much combing through it with my fingers until I get the desired look that I want. Now, I'm going to take the wig off so you guys can see. Um, the inside of the wig so excuse my hair right now because right now it is I just washed it it's twisted but here is the wig there are two combs on each side okay there's one comb in the middle I don't know if you could see that and then there's one comb in the back now I do not use the combs the only thing I use are these clips that they have here I like to use the clips because I feel like the clips if the wig is too big, it'll hold on to my head. Most of the wigs that I get are too big, but I must say that this fits snug. Now, I don't know if you realize, now the wig looks uneven because I put the middle part. So let's shift it back the way we had it. And then you guys could pretty much see what I did. So see, I shifted it. I kind of like the, um, the side. Now there's one con about this wig, and it may not be a con for you guys, but it's a con for me because I don't like that it had a bulk of hair right here, like in the front. And then there's this, I feel like the bulk could have been spread through so that all, oh my hands are so ashy, I'm sorry, for my brush cleaner. Um, but I feel like with all that bulk, it could have 
been someone there. So I find that maybe if you take some of that bulk here in the front and just shift it to the middle, that's a good cover up. And I guess that's fine because it gives the hair layers. It's funny, the hair is so soft that it feels like product is on it because I can feel it through my hand. I might be right, I might be wrong, I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm loving the wig. Now if you look on the package, um, big beautiful hair, the hair is a lot, lot bigger and I guess that's due to teasing with the comb but I really don't want to do that to the wig. Um, I like that some of the curls are in there. Um, so I'm not gonna comb through it that much. Um, it does say that it is heat resistant up to 480 degrees. Now I'll be honest with you, with this texture here, I don't know what kind of curling iron you would put through it. I guess maybe you would take one individual one and wrap it around a curling wand um, if the curls start to fall. But other than that, I don't think I would apply any heat. And I actually think the older a wig gets sometimes, the better it looks. And I'll give you an example um, after I show you the other wig, okay? Okay, now the next wig I wore in a previous tutorial, um, it was for Valentine's Day. I believe it was my last Valentine's Day look. Um, and this is the equal lace front, no glue, no tape necessary. It takes up to 400 degrees for curl and iron. It's from air to air, and it is a uh, lace front as well. So I'm sorry, and I meant to mention that. This wig is lace front too. I actually cut the lace off, and this is what I got um, from the lace. I don't know if you can see it. Just make sure when you cut it that you don't cut too close to the little baby hairs that they give you because I feel like that's when your wig will start to shed. Um, so I'm gonna take this one out. And then here's the packaging, by the way, which is the same length. Oh, actually it's a little bit longer. But it comes with all this protective cushion outside band to hold it in. Now, this wig does not shed. I brushed the mess out of this wig. It didn't have a lump at the top. Um, I do find it's a little thin, but I think thin may look a little bit more natural. So for me, I don't mind that it's kind of thin because it resembles hair. Um, it has two combs on the front and one in the back. So I'll let you guys see. And it is lace front, and I did cut this one. And the good thing about this wig is that it has enough parting space. It looks like um, a little more than an inch of parting space so if you guys really want to fake it and um you know um add some conceal if you want i did remove a little bit of the hairs at the front um and i did leave some of my hair out and i actually took a flat iron to my hair and straightened it out so that it blended for you guys in that video so i'll put the link below so you guys can see um the video that i wore this wig in and you'll see exactly what i'm talking about Again, I don't use combs. Um, I just use the straps if it's too big. I don't like anything that tugs at my hair. Um, like I said, um, this does not shed at all. Um, I had no problems with it. It does not tangle. It's really, really nice. And I must say, um, equal um, Tris and Outre, both good wigs. So yeah, I purchased these from wigtypes.com. This wig was, let's see. Cause I got both. Oh, the big Afro wig was $39.99 and this wig I believe was $25. Um, it shipped same day as long as you ship um, ordered before I think it was 5 p.m. Same day. It shipped same day and it came from New Jersey. I'm in Pennsylvania so pretty much it came like in two days. I had no problem with shipping at all. It was packaged really well in, in a huge box that fit both of the wigs without crushing them. Um, so let me go back into what I was saying about how I take my wigs and I make them work for me. Let me just grab Miss She Thing. Yes, I call her Miss She Thing. And honestly, I comb the mess out of this wig. Like, I feel like I comb this wig so much that, look, it looks like mine. I didn't put any product in it. And if you realize, it's a lot shorter um, than what I have on. Um, I usually take a few bobby pins to hold this down on my head because I pull it so far back so that it blends in. This has two combs directly in the front and one in the back with straps. So I don't know if you could see. So that's two combs in the front. It is a middle part. I do not, again, use the middle part. So I'm gonna put this on so you guys can see what I mean by like making it look like it's your own. Here's what I do. All right, so you see I left out my hair. Now what I usually do is, um, my hair is usually twisted, but I took the twist out 
just for the sake of speeding up the video i still have a little bit of blonde color on for my um blonde hair um this wig i'm not gonna lie it is on the big side and i have it on the last strap um so that's one of the reasons why i take bobby pins and basically like just take them and pin them down into my head all right so this wig did not come like this clearly this wig was combed out teased out like this is my everyday go-to wig i do makeup in this wig matter of fact i think i have some makeup in my wig um but yeah it, it it resembles hair so much i love it it's like a big and it's soft too it's just that this one you can't really put your fingers to it it's very drying all right so here's what i do i don't really comb this out i just take my fingers just like i do with most of my wigs and i blend the hair i don't know if you can see that so you see that i blend the hair make sure your hair is well conditioned make sure it's not dry um i have very sensitive edges um, so as you can see, this side of my hair is very thin in comparison to the other side. Yeah. So I'm just finger pulling all of this apart. And you want to do that so that it blends and you don't see the, uh, the, the, uh, lace front. Because this was lace front too, I had to cut it. You see? Now I realize that the longer my hair gets, which now it's getting long, is that it really blends in even more. I thought it was better with short hair, but no, it's not because this just, I don't know, I can't even explain it. It, I can't explain it. But now you guys know what I do. I take these bobby pins and I pin some of the hair down because for some reason this wig has the same problem as the other wig where most of the good, the thickness of the hair is in the front, but right in the middle, there's no good, there's no thickness. And I don't want the wind to blow and you could see the wig's uh, scalp. So I usually take a few bobby pins. I place them directly in the middle top of my head. And I also pin down some of the hair um, so that if the wind blow, you pretty much don't see it. I don't know if you could see. See, it kind of went down a little bit. And if you really want it to look real. All right. If you look here, there is a little bit of a parting space. Um, I'm going to use my tweezers because I don't have a comb handy. But there is a little bit of a parting space. Okay, can you see that? And if you really, really want to fool the world, <laughs> you pretty much just clear that part out. Which I'm, I'm not going to do it the way, I mean, I would, but I really like this wig. And I'm, I'm planning on getting another one, so maybe I will... But if you really want to make this wig look real, let me show you. Let me show you. All right. Now, you see the, the difference in my hair part, my natural hair part, and the wig hair part? My hair part is wide, and the wigs isn't. So what you do is yeah, you get like an angle brush, and you get some concealer. Concealer that matches your complexion, okay? Foundation, concealer. I'm going to go in with some cream foundation and I am going to widen the part okay now when you widen the part it's just gonna you know blend it in so nobody sees I don't know if you can see how it it starts to blend in okay I'm going with a little bit more and that way Nobody can tell you anything, okay? Now, do you see how that became? And that's also a good trick to um, tell if your foundation color is on point. Because if it could go with your wig, girl, then hey, all right? And then in this, in this case, I don't have a brush, but in this case, I would take a brush. And I would comb. Let's see. I would comb now you let's really get into it you can take this blend it in look at this do you guys see that you can take that blend it in and look doesn't that look like my hair you can do it to the same to the other side but again remember I have sensitive scalp my hair tends to fall out easily so I'm not gonna do it but look you can pin it up you can do um, what they call the uh, twist 
don't even remember what they call it twist. What they call it twist? Flat twist? Yeah, you can flat twist your whole head. And if you look, the part is pretty much, see? You can't see anything. So you can go through, do individual ones. And I guess I'll post a picture um, right here so you guys can see. Um, if you look at the roots, I pretty much twisted the same wig. And I went through, did some flat twists through the root, grabbed random places, didn't really part it. And that was pretty much it. But yeah, that's the part. So if you really want to fool somebody, look. Go ahead, put you some clips down. And they're going to be like, damn, that's her hair. <laughs> oh my God, I'll be cracking myself up. All right, guys, so I'm going to let you go. I made this video long enough. I had so much fun. I hope you guys learned a little bit of uh, tips and tricks about how to make your wig look real, authentic, and fool the world. Um, I love fooling the world, especially when it comes to my makeup, because I know you... See, you, you've seen my previous videos. You know what I look like without makeup. I'm not trying to say I'm ugly, but I damn sure ain't majage, okay? So until next time, guys, um, I'll see you. Please please rate, comment, and subscribe. Leave some you know, messages below. Let me know what you're thinking about my videos. Let me know what you would like to see. Um, you know, I'm not that creative. I can't come up with videos all the time that are different from the other ones. So if you think I'm repeating too much or my looks aren't as crazy as they used to be and you want to see some more creative looks, you know, feel free to let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, please do. Um, I think my next video I am going to do, I'm going to upload the tutorial for this look. So pretty much stay tuned guys for that. And as always, thank you guys. I really appreciate your support and I love you and I'll see you the next time. Bye.